Ja. Kan man göra det? Ja. 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 That's where we're starting. <laughs> no. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the Barbells of Trails podcast. I'm your host, Brett, back with Riley. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, episode 96. All right. How do we do this again? No, just... I forget, dude. <laughs> um, uh, how's today been? Oh, it's been good. Mm. Uh <laughs> Monday's trading you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mondays are nice. Yeah, Mondays are great. So not really. I hate Mondays. Oh yeah. Mondays yeah. is just eh. yeah. I usually yeah. hate Mondays. You know, I never realized that like as I got older, I, I relate to Garfield more and more. Oh you know? my gosh. I saw something like that like yeah. the other day. Like as as you get older, you're like, Yep, Garfield might have Hate Mondays and I love lasagna. Yeah, honestly, lasagna. So I mean, I, I don't even feel like I like lasagna that much as a kid, but then like eventually, I was just like lasagna. No, the best. lasagna's amazing. Yeah, dude. I, I had so much. I want lasagna kid. now. Let's go make lasagna. <laughs> should, we go, should we make lasagna? <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a cooking episode. Yes, making lasagna. Your lasagna. Nobody will watch. <laughs> we are back on the shorts though, so if you guys haven't noticed, we or we've been posting more shorts recently. And Instagram too. And Instagram, trying to get on that because we have a plethora. How do you say that? What word are we going for? Plethora. There we go. Oh. Of episodes that we haven't used yet, and mess with those. So some of them are a little dated, but it's still fun to get those out there for you guys. Freaking using some fancy words over there. I am. I'm trying. Um. So like, I mean, even just posting them within the past week, we've gained like 15 subscribers. So welcome anybody that's new. Um, if you haven't already, we never say this during the episodes. If you're enjoying and you like some of the long form episodes and everything, like feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We yeah. love hearing from you yes. guys. Um, we really do appreciate it. You know, we never really talked about Andrew's episode. Do you want to kind of talk about that? Did we not? No, no we did. We, we have no, we, we haven't did. posted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it was it was interesting. It was very interesting. I'm glad he came on. Uh, yeah, uh, wasn't a. Fa- expecting like the full-on incognito yeah the thing is is you've only you really hadn't been around him much so i kind of expected that episode to be chaotic i kind of saw it coming yeah even just like the hour he was here beforehand yeah yeah um so i kind of knew it was gonna get a little wild but i was okay with it and i knew how he was and i knew it was gonna be just kind of fun and ridiculous um he did text me afterwards and he's like I watched the episode. You're you're a pretty good interviewer. Sorry, I derailed the conversation the whole fucking time. <laughs> he he kind of did. But he did because there was times I tried to hear yeah. it and it just completely was like. So did, 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 he was like, did you know, leopards are like actually orange. And he was like, what? so do you guys use condoms? Yeah, just like, like the most what? random stuff. But like it was it was fun to do. Like, there, there's no just. It doesn't compare to any of our past guests. It really doesn't. He said he'd love to come the on again. The only other one was Kelvin. Yeah, but even then, that was way more like yeah. um, straightforward, I guess. Yeah, but no, it was fun. I was like, I had fun. I think he enjoyed coming up for the weekend, so it was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, we did want to try getting Brian to record, but he didn't want to. Um, then, which is fine. I do want yeah. to get him back on eventually. Yeah, at some still got to get Josh on. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so what's been going on recently? I. The hurricane, hurricane, absolutely terrible. Um, yeah. The bad thing is, is I haven't actually seen a lot of footage. I've seen a few, and it, it's bad. Yeah, like it's I've seen bad. some, and it's it's like Asheville is really in trouble. Yeah, I saw like literally full on trees through houses and cars, houses going down the street. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what the possible death toll is at this point. And then Florida's that. getting hit again. Did you yep, hear that? It's getting hit like. As we speak right now. Yeah. It, like, and it's going back to a category five. Yep. And then I was talking to somebody about it and I was like, okay, at least the good thing it like, it, this isn't great for Florida, but at least the good thing is the trajectory is it's just going across Florida. And so it shouldn't really hit any other States. Like there'll still be probably storms obviously, right. but 
the majority of it's just going to stay. So we we south. even got some of that weather. Yeah, that's what was wild was that weekend. I mean, it basically rained from Friday morning to damn Sunday. near Sunday. It was Sunday. It was like off and on still yeah. Sunday a little bit, um, yep. which is crazy because at that point I was driving um, three hours south to go visit Bailey and. Oh, dude, it was it was terrible on the roads. Like mm-hmm. it was it was ridiculous. I mean, there's some trees down. Like it, it got kind of rough up here. I think we had like 60 mile per hour winds. Yep. And um, um, I think we had some flash flooding in some places. Luckily, where we live, we luckily don't have to deal with that. Right. But I know Southern Indiana, it, it can be bad. Yeah, I knew. I knew mm-hmm. Monday that going back to work, there was branches everywhere. Oh yeah. Like I, I preferred being on the highways because the first time I got off to like go to the gas station, I was like this is kind of sketchy driving near all these trees. Like there's already a bunch of debris in the road, like nothing like big yet, but it was like, Don't some, yeah, <laughs> something could happen. I'm yeah. like, uh, 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 I don't, I'd rather true. just get on the highway and be away from everything yeah. and just drive. Um, but now it's kind of crazy. We will, I will probably put a Venmo <clears throat> in the bottom of the description for this week's episode. And I'll, I'll post it possibly on our Instagram too. Um, somebody that, is local that is from India is an RN and she is driving down to North Carolina as we speak, um, taking a bunch of supplies. Uh, U Haul even donated a big truck and trailer for them to take stuff down. They're taking like dog food, medical supplies, insulin, like everything. Okay. And they're doing it all on their own. And um, and so I'm gonna try putting that Venmo um in the bottom if anybody wants to donate. because uh, I yeah. even was gonna message her. It was like, hey, like you guys need some gas money like i'll send you something just to help you guys get down there right. or whatever um because she basically i saw she just said leaving indiana i was like where i just started the conversation i was like where where are you going and she's like oh i'm driving down to north carolina to help people she's like I, uh, Good for her. Good yeah she's like i'm just taking the week and we're just going like we'll be down here wow. the whole week just trying to help so and i'm like fuck i kind of <sighs> yeah like it's it's, it's crazy it, it is it, it, it is, is insane crazy. like I didn't even think it was that bad until I initially. Started. Yeah, I didn't think so either. <sighs> it was just crazy. Well, that's why it was so kind of wild because, like, my my mom at the time was in she was in Gulf Shores, but mm-hmm. like for them it was perfectly fine. You wouldn't have even imagined really there was a storm right. like that only a hundred miles east, right. pretty much, and causing the havoc it did and and everything. So I I, I pray for everybody out there and yeah. hopefully prayers to them, prayers to all those families. It, it's crazy. And hopefully, many people are, hopefully, are safe now. Hopefully, die down really quick. Yeah, I don't know how crazy. long it's going to last for us, though. But. No. Um, I did see an interesting fact today. So, um, Brigham Bueller, guy I talked about that went on Rogan in the past, started listening to an episode. He came back on, um, and I had seen this. Like we had talked about a Genius Life podcast before, and a, uh, the guy that I want to watch that dementia documentary on, um, he all like does stuff about nutrition, and that's like mm-hmm. his main subject. I didn't realize this, but I had seen clips of it on like Instagram and a bunch of other stuff. And you might have heard about it, where um, I think it was like last week or maybe two weeks ago now, um, where like people brought up this in front of the Senate. I was like, hey, like most people don't know this. Have you ever seen? Um, and this was just like a random person that went to the hearing and was like, hey, did you? I, like you guys might not realize this. Um, and they compared what was it? I think it was U.S. Fruit Loops to Canadian Fruit Loops, and just the list of ingredients of everything that we put in our stuff that they don't send everywhere else, hmm. and a lot of it is like dyes, extra stuff, just making it more sugary and addictive and and colorful for children and, and all this stuff. And at this point, like the crazy thing is, is like food dyes and all this stuff has been linked to like the um, possibly to heighten like ADHD effects and a bunch of other stuff like that. And so sounds like a bunch of people in RFK was apparently kind of the person that helped put it all together. A bunch of people went to Congress and was like, Hey, we got to figure out this health crisis in America because chronic disease is on the rise and it is becoming very apparent yeah. and bad. And it has a lot to do with the food industry in particular, let alone big pharma. And so I guess RFK went to Brigham to bring him cause he worked in the medical industry for 20 years. He'd ran his own pharmacy, worked for Eli Lilly. He'd been like a rep and basically they were calling him out and being like, Hey, like this, this is what's happening. Here's mm-hmm. stories from all these people that can testify. 
something needs to be done because if not, this is going to be bad right. in the next 30 years. And it's already like ramped up and it, it is yeah. crazy when, when you think about it and I guess he was getting hate on stuff and which doesn't make any sense, but it, it is, it's cool to see that somebody finally stepped up and brought that in front of like Senate, Congress, somebody to be like, Hey, like, cause the thing is, is I don't, I don't think most politicians have malintent. I really don't. It, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Nobody I, I, really knows. Well, yeah, but I feel like most of it, for the most part, when it comes to like regulation and certain things, is a lack of information. Like, I, I don't yeah, feel I like most say, of I these. Think, I think there's way more stuff going in the background that that they that they're knows. even aware of. You know, like I, I don't like honestly, what? How many senators actually know some of the information that probably got shown to them last week? Probably none, yeah. and and they just get. They, they get some of the same information that the general public gets shoved down their throats of like, hey, <laughs> like, I mean, the I mean, the food pyramid for years was, yeah, the thing you should eat the most of is carbs. That is not that is not processed carbs is not the way of a, a healthy, balanced diet. That's but good. for some reason, that was the baseline. So, like, it's it's been an issue for decades at this point. But it's, mm-hmm. it's cool to see that something might actually start to be rolling in hopefully the right direction. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean. I can see all the added you know, junk mm-hmm. that they put in the foods. But I don't know, like even Fruit Loops would have. Oh, it's difference. everything. So like th- that. That's, I can see dyes. That's cause part I, of the reason why. Like, uh, have you ever seen this? Um, there's a specific YouTube channel. I'm blinking on the name. One guy, I, I think they're based in one's based in the U.S. And I think one one's based in the U.K. But they have literally done like a series where they would go to like fast food restaurants, order the same thing from these chains, compare the ingredients list, and then the, like the U.S. list is ridiculous. It's like fifteen yeah, things long. I think long. I've seen. I think I've seen. And that then list. like you go to like a burger over there, and it's like ten ingredients or like less than yeah. ten, yeah. and it's like main like yeah. stuff you expect to see, mm-hmm. not a bunch of chemicals. Um, and stuff like there's always been like a thing of like people that are like oh yeah if I travel to Europe I can kind of eat whatever I want and I still like feel better and I lose weight and yeah I mean I this a lot is very of random food. but I saw like have you seen Modern Family the show yeah 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 is that when um the ginger what's his name I know who you're talking about but yes when he when he goes to um France mm-hmm. and he's like how do you know I'm like and then one person's like well oh you looking for McDonald's well be careful portions are normal size <laughs> and i'm just like well that's yeah i like it's crazy how many people have like just getting, i yeah i mean it's, it's just between, getting overweight between that and just everything else like one thing that brigham brought up that i didn't realize was like the fda allowed like when it first started the amount of chemicals or food related things that were allowed to be put into u.s foods in the 50s or 60s when it was initiated was only like 700 things now it's over 10,000 that are allowed. Yeah. yeah. The EU is the same 700. Yeah. And it's like that alone should kind of be like, okay, maybe we just, I don't know, shouldn't be putting some of this stuff That's even in, like, in people's food. Even when I went to like Cheesecake Factory a few mm-hmm. months ago, like just look at the menu and it was like, like, um, I forget how they worded it, but it was like just recommended um, calories. Yeah. It was like, oh, oh like, 1500 was was i was like that's still crazy for one meal yeah. that's like some people's like whole day mm-hmm. it's crazy yeah and i mean some cheesecake has over 2000 calories that, that's why i love brigham's story so like so much is like his story of how he first got into stuff and like when he was 32 like he he ended up like losing weight was doing crossfit had a nutritionist wasn't losing or sorry he wasn't losing weight but he was doing all the right things didn't know what the hell was going on and eventually his nutritionist is like i don't know what's happening you need to go to like a specialist i know this guy he ended up going to a doctor and they tested his hormones his deciliter nana deciliter or whatever for testosterone was 98 that's literally like female that's like a high female testosterone wow yeah like that's like chronic like extremely low um wow. and he didn't know it at the time and that was like part of it so he had like to be on medication so that's why like, why he eventually 
founded like the company he does now and his whole thing is about prevention instead of um waiting till there's an issue like he even said that there's like a specific blood panel that they can do for cancer which most insurance companies don't pay for because it's more expensive but it'll go over like 200 plus possible cancerous tumor causing things Mm -hmm. and it can tell you like if you're stage zero within like seven years of possibly developing this cancer that if you will or not but most people don't know about it or they don't spend the money on it and he's like it's there's different ways to go about it where you can just be preventative and not have these issues he's like why aren't things like that in particular maybe it's not for everyone but why isn't that also more like at least given to first responders why isn't that to firefighters and right the military and all this stuff because we already know that they're at such higher risks of getting cancer like i think it's like 70 percent of firefighters like it's like yeah. a 70 percent likelihood that you'll end up with cancer if you're a yeah. firefighter yeah because all the <coughs> flames Carcin- yeah, yeah. everything that gets lit on fire the yeah. carcinogens i mean even with military the stuff that they're around even just being around guns that are being fired yeah. all the time and yep. training like that the things that your body's exposed to it's it, it's it's intense it is crazy it's it, it's it's sad to see but there's there's still hope and uh, i like that he's also hopeful and like yeah. changing right. and yeah. doing his own thing which is really cool to see so it's cool to kind of listen into that conversation um but yeah i'm just i hope i hope something changes uh, i the, hope so i the whole just health side i just hope something changes because it's all about money it is and i hate that because there's a lot of it's just a lot of good people, but they don't have the money yeah. to pay for something, or they just don't have the money to figure out what. Or they don't have insurance, them. or yeah, all just, of it, just, or insurance won't cover it, or yeah. vice versa. It's like the thing <sighs> is, is there there is still a way for like pharma to be very profitable. It's just that it won't be what they've been dealing with. Like I, I've heard stories about like nurses, like mm-hmm. what they get paid. Mm-hmm. Like it, some nurse will, like went in there for like a triple shift mm-hmm. on her day off. Yeah. So time and a half triple shift. She got paid like a good a thousand dollars. Well, I think it was a thousand five hundred dollars that day. And I was like, well, that's what we're paying right now. That we're paying her salary. No. Yeah. It's just crazy. I'm not saying like nurses don't um don't need that i'm just yeah saying, I'm, 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 I'm much rather my money go to practitioners than yes yes the companies but i'm just the same i'm, just, time, I'm like just saying just yeah everything's it, over it, it's overpriced weird, oh yeah definitely just, especially at hospitals and stuff yeah. um and that's when because it, the hospitals like become a business and that's exactly. something he breaks and down it's i feel weird. like before it was not like that at all not, but then again like, I'm, I'm still young and i don't i guess i don't really remember I mean, it probably was even when we were kids, but it wasn't wasn't as bad. Even no, I I wouldn't say it was as bad, and it wasn't the same even like when our parents were kids. Yeah, and it's changed so much. Um, I mean, even like the opioid uh, like epidemic and everything. Like part of the reason why that became an issue was they. I didn't know this, but I guess like the FDA or somebody had taken away where you didn't have to get a drug screening to get the prescription. So they didn't know if you had other stuff in your system, if you were doing this, like right. if you were taking the medications, they just kind of like gave it to basically anybody. Mm-hmm. And that was part of the reason why it became so bad. And the thing is, is more people are taking opioids now than they did, even though like now you can't get them as easily, people are still taking them. And then they're also going down the route of illegal stuff. And then that's where fentanyl gets involved. And that's where yeah. we still deal with ODs yeah. all the time. I mean, a lot of people just don't know what's wrong with them because they're just scared to go to the hospital because they don't want to be charged two grand for something mm-hmm. they didn't even know they took. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very true. I feel like that is part of the reason why people are scared to talk just in the U.S. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it's definitely more of a money thing for most yeah. than than anything. Which I, I, I'm still really grateful for doctors. Nurses. Oh, I'm yeah. not trying. I'm no, not trying to put them down. It's just the system. It's just something needs to up. change. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the majority of the people. No. I, th- I think that like it, it's just that how the system has been created over the past four or five decades has caused more headache than it's supposed it, to, or it should. It, yeah. And so that is one thing that like it's I was impressed caused more that health problems than like RFK now. Yeah. Being with, I guess on Trump's team. I don't know. Like I wonder if he's going to be a part of Trump's cabinet if he gets in. I hope so. If so, that'd be, he's that'd be a cool. I like him. And then. But he's kind of the one that's um, going with Trump, and it's like make America healthy again. 
Like yeah, that's, his, yeah, that's what you he's talk, doing. You now. talked so to me about that. So it's cool that he's trying to do that. And that was one thing that even if he did run and he got in, that was one of the things he wanted to do anyways. Yeah. So it's cool that hopefully he, if he, let's say Trump goes in and in the office and if RFK is helping with that thing, like that stuff, hopefully he pushes for it. Like his, this whole thing's been about like people's health and not being taken over by or dealt with by like corporations. Like, I mean, he was first an environmental lawyer. Like yeah. he, he was dealing with people that he were knows like, his stuff. Yeah. Like he, he was dealing with people that were being screwed over by corporations and stuff was being polluted and, and things. And he would take them to court and get, get things taken care of. Like he was one of the big people that helped clean up the Hudson river yeah. years ago and stuff. So it's, it'll be interesting to see what might happen, especially after this election. I mean, it's also like obviously a whole, whole thing. I mean, it's election season, so who knows? Well, let's just see. Yeah. But um, the one thing he did mention that I found like a very Who? wild statistic. Who? Brigham. Oh, okay. Apparently now, the average brain five percent of the our brain's weight is made up of plastics. There's that much plastic in our bodies. Yeah, I can see it. I guess. Yeah. And and I was like five percent. Like the thing. It's like in the brain too. It's like that's even worse, and, and so it's just crazy to think about. Like, there's a reason why. Like, I've changed some things even like in our house. Of like, yeah, I'm using these pans. I'm using this shower curtain. Like, I've I've tried to lower my, I guess, overall exposure to certain things yeah. because I'm like I I know that it's not great, right? And so I I, I try little things here and there. Oh, look at you go. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Got to do what you can. Yeah. Um. So I know you mentioned that KSI dropped a new song. Yeah, I listened to it, but you haven't. Did, did he heard, drop two? I think so. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he dropped two then. I've, okay. I've listened I, to bits of it. I, did you like it? Like, just listen to it? Because it took me, like, I had to listen to it, like, twice in a row. And I was like, okay, this is kind of catchy. At first, I did not like I don't it know. Much. Like, it's. I don't feel like it's anything like, you, near his normal stuff. Because if you heard just like the main, I forget how it goes in the main chorus, it does not sound catchy at all. But you need to listen to the whole song. Yeah, I mean, just for what I've seen, I, I think uh, JJ's Reddit has destroyed him on the song. Like I just saw him like do a Reddit video the <laughs> other day, and I guess they were going in on him, and he was like, "Oh." <laughs> He probably just doesn't really give a fuck, though, is the thing. <laughs> I, mean, I think there's times that he doesn't, but then there's definitely times that it gets to him. Like, I, do you remember when he did the KSI show? KSI show. It was supposed to be, Where like, a, a thing about, like, his life and whatever. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got a lot of, like, Hate? negative feedback. Really? On it. Yeah, because it just wasn't what people expected. And, and that's one thing, and it wasn't what I expected either. But I think – they thought it was actually going to be like almost like a miniature like documentary of his right. life to some extent. That's what it sounded like in the title. Yeah. But it ended up being like almost like weird sketches and right. then just almost like a music performance show. Like right. it, was, it was kind of weird and it wasn't anything what anybody expected. And I think that was part of the reason why people didn't like it. And it, it was just kind of weird. I, that, I do remember watching that video when that came out and he like saw all the comments. You could literally see it, like, actually, like, start to weigh on him. And he was like, damn, maybe I did fuck up. Like, but, I mean. If he fucked up, well, look at his bank account. I think he's good. Yeah, he'll he'll be okay. (laughs) He he took a risk, and and that's commendable. Not everybody's going to like the stuff you dive into. KSI is prospering right now. I mean, even, so now, like, JJ, Logan, Mr. Beast. Lunchly. Lunchly. Wait, is that what it's called? Lunchly. Okay. Um, Lunchables, I guess, competitor now. Um, yeah, some people actually just like why people they're just are, copying off him. Yeah, but then again, it's like Lunchable it. has been around for so long, and I feel like it's gotten worse. They, yeah, I feel like I feel like it was a lot better even when we were kids. I I probably have had like two Lunchables in my whole life. Okay, well, you're homeschooled. Um, <laughs> I had the pizza one and I had the ham and cheese one. That's the only one. And the thing is, is like people are like, oh, you're just trying to like make. Uh, just make money off of young kids and like this and that and like doing all this and it's like okay so many other creators have done similar things like what what's an issue with us like 
trying to make a better alternative. Plus, like Mr. Beast is already going down the food route. Basically, they just partnered with Prime with it and like did it all. It's like also you could have said the same thing about Prime, except the thing is, is it can go to all demographics. But guess who hopped on it instantly? The younger kids. Like that. I mean, we we all yeah. liked it. Obviously, yeah. I've had a but, few people. Just like, why are they just cop- copying? I just don't really like any of those YouTubers because Prime, they're just copying Gatorade. But it's better. And then like it actually, and like, then, I, I think it personally is better. I don't like Gatorade. I don't either. I'd it's rather like, have Powerade than Gatorade. No, because I, Gatorade is literally just sugared water. That's why I, if I drink Gatorade, I always drink Gatorade Zero if I'm going to drink it at all. I don't drink Gatorade, period. I like, take, I like drinking Powerade Zero. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, I just... Powerade literally has more electrolytes in it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes no sense. It doesn't. they just um, been around for so damn and then, long. And then when somebody pointed that out with Prime, I was like, Prime is so much better than Gatorade. Like, you would – I mean, yes, I think it's a little too sweet, in my opinion, sometimes. Mm-hmm. But um, then again, I feel like somebody – there needed to be another contender, mm-hmm. I feel like, because it just – and that's the same thing with Lunchly. Yeah. I mean, if you're just going to have – lunch of bowls then why not have somebody else kind of come in yeah yeah try to compete in the and that's market. with mr Be- mr beats um Can- like candy bars too yeah. and everything yeah it's the the thing is is like these creators are building competitors to these giant businesses and it's and actually kind of awesome because it's like especially if you also see these people and uh, yeah okay so oh, like pff- making making like lunchable type things or making candy bars aren't necessarily like super healthy but at the same time they're trying to do it Healthier. in a better way yeah. than these other companies and actually give competition yeah and it's like i feel like that's completely fair i feel I, like that's something we would cherish and right. like and i feel like has prime i mean i don't know the statistics with prime versus gatorade mm. i know powerade's all the way at the bottom somehow i just don't know why but i think at this point one reason why gatorade's so big is they they've branched out they, into so many different products yeah and they just sponsor so many things well yeah that's like, true too. like the nba mm-hmm. gatorade literally sponsors like yeah it's already nba yeah it, it, yeah so it's it's interesting um what else has been going on i i did get into this one channel and i've seen them before i've watched the past couple nights or like this weekend i watched two videos they're both about 45 minutes to an hour long and it's history stuff and i love it and the this History guy was channel, breaking or? down um, like the life of Genghis Khan and then okay. the the collapse of the Aztec Empire. That'd Loved be, it. I bet that was pretty cool. It was even more informational than I feel like I learned in school. <laughs> I might need to watch it. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Like the guy that so I didn't know this that there was basically like I knew like the backstory to like how the Aztecs got defeated. Yeah. To some extent, but I didn't realize that it was basically integral on like three things happening. Mm-hmm. If they didn't happen, probably wasn't going to work. And part of that is in the initial trip, like the guy that initially went to do it, I'm blanking on his name, which I hate, but the initial conquistador that was sent to go kind of figure things out. Right. The last minute they tried changing him and not making him the guy to lead the trip. And he okay. said, fuck it before anybody knew. And, and just got fucking it and booked, ran, it? booked it. <laughs> so basically mutineered against Spain. That's hilarious. Yeah. And then, like, they went to a, a place that knew of, like, the Spanish, all this stuff. So, they, like, communicated well. And they were like, hey, by the way, there's these two white guys on the mainland. And they're like, what? Okay, cool. Went and found them. I guess they were two survivors of a shipwreck, like, eight years before. They learned the languages. And then they asked the one guy. They, they asked him. They're like, hey, would you guys help? So, you can translate, you know, Spanish and right. the, the native language. Could you come with us? One guy had a family. And it was like, nah, I'm native now. I ain't, I ain't doing Fair that. enough. The other guy went with him. So that was like step one of being like, okay, so you got a translator. Then later on, they found another person at another city. Like they were welcomed, got gold, all this stuff. So it made him be like, okay, we're on the right track because that's what we want. What the? And found this woman that was basically gifted to them because the city was like, oh, thank you, whatever. We're going to give you like basically these slaves. Um, and this one lady spoke the Aztec and Mayan languages. So then they could translate from Spanish to Mayan, from Mayan to Aztec. And basically <laughs> yeah. it was like the first Google translate. <laughs> Dang. And so basically it allowed him to be 
almost diplomatic for the first time with a lot of these native cities and these leaders because he could actually talk to them yeah. and be like, hey, this is what we're trying to do. And he already knew that there is dismay against like all the people that were under the Aztec empire because I guess I forgot that basically the Aztecs didn't control it like a normal empire. Basically, the way he described it, which makes sense, is it was like basically a, a Mesoamerican mob. Basically, yeah, they controlled everything. You paid us taxes, and if not, we come break some ankles, right. and and you would keep paying, they kind were, of thing. They were badasses, though. Oh yeah, the Aztecs were crazy, <sighs> and so basically they broke that down to like, okay, so he already knew they didn't like these people, so he went around and was like, hey, we don't like them either. <laughs> you guys want to join us? That's and hilarious. so he just like slowly built allies, and then basically because of this man, and there was multiple fuck ups along the way, was able to defeat the Aztec Empire and like. A year and a half and conquered basically all of mexico for for spain yeah because he's he started slow mm-hmm. yeah huh. and then uh genghis khan wild like it's still crazy like his story is always fascinating to me and I, I don't know why but i guess that's just like me with ancient history it's crazy that that was only like 800 years ago for one and then two point five percent of the human population are related to him mm-hmm. globally and like eight percent of the Asian population has traces back to him. Are you related to him? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> um, but then like listening like his backstory, and I had like seen movies and some documentaries on him, but he broke it down really cool, like well, and how he kind of took over everything. And like part of the reason why he did so well was unlike most Mongol rulers, like if they took a city, he split everything like monetarily equally between everybody. That's so cool. the lowest soldier to him got that paid the really exact nice. same. That's why he was so like his military was so loyal to him. So they said, all right, let's do it. Mm-hmm. And so he did go into like too crazy a detail of like some of the things they did. Cause they were very bloodthirsty. Um, I mean, one, one empire that they did come across that they ended up conquering kind of makes sense. Cause I guess this was like the first time that Genghis Khan was trying to be like kind of diplomatic and like, Oh, maybe we can make friends. And so he like sent gifts and all this stuff and merchants to these people and was like, oh yeah, maybe we can like set up a trade route and kind of become allies. The governor of the city state they went to killed everybody and just took all the stuff. And then, so then he sent like a messenger and a bunch of people to the emperor of that whole empire. He killed all them. And then Genghis Khan was dealing with another war and said, all right, nah, <laughs> he dropped what he was doing. I was like, let's get our asses back over there. And then it was like two years of just, absolute chaos like literally killed how many people did he have the thing is is the mongols were always outnumbered always but it was how they played their tech like how they were tactically that right. made them so well like they would besiege cities they would cut off supplies because the funny thing is is when they first came to china which i never thought about this is it was the first time they ever had to deal with walls because oh. the mongols are nomads yeah so Normally, if you wanted to come just attack somebody's camp, it's, it's a tent. Go. you can just go. And so when they came to China, they're like, we don't have anything <laughs> to deal with these walls. And <laughs> what is that? <laughs> literally, like, what are we going to do? <laughs> so they were like, I don't know. Like, I guess one one thing that they did do was they dammed off the Yellow River and then tried to flood the city. Technically, they were successful, but then they also flooded their camp. <laughs> and that was like his first... Uh, time that he was like trying to take over a part of china and everything but yeah so they went over literally when they took over this empire within two years they probably killed three million people that's crazy yeah like literally he dropped the human populace of the entire world in his lifetime by 10 percent. holy cow and dropped the carbon footprint it was that noticeable like he was one heck, a, one heck of a guy. Jeez. And on top of that, by the time like the Mongol Empire was at its peak, which was after he died, because he, he did so much, which was still at that point one of the largest empires in the world, they still continued for like another 150 years. Right. At one point controlled twenty like basically a quarter of the world's populace. And I can't remember, like 19% of uh, basically... Uh, territory of like the world like i think it's number two when it comes to the size i think of all empires i think great britain's number one is just because they the, the amount of 
right. stuff that they controlled at one point in the peak of the empire was absolutely insane. But yeah, like crazy story. Like you know of him, but then you listen to that and it's just kind of wild. And he's kind of like put on a pedestal for um, like in Mongolia and stuff. And the thing is, is they're like, he's brutal, but also he did a lot of things that were kind of progressive for the time. Like he, one of the reasons why he didn't have like a lot of rebellions in places he took over was he allowed freedom of religion. He was like one of the first people oh, wow. of that time period to be like, I don't care. You guys practice whatever the hell you want. Christianity, uh, Islam, Buddhism, do it. I'm not going to impose that. Uh, wow. So that's part of the reason why he was so successful was like some of the little things he did on like how he treated his civilians, how he treated his army that kind of shook up at the time the – uh, societal norms and allowed right. him to be so damn successful. Wow. Yeah, I didn't really learn about him that much. Really? Growing up. Dude, yeah. it's crazy. He, you have to show me those. Oh yeah. I'll watch them. Yeah. Dude, it is, it is wild. Cause I, cause I mean, I know are you ever much of a history nut. Dude, we've talked about this. I know. Things. But like, what, what, what was the topic that really like piqued your interest when it comes to history? Because hmm. mine always seemed to be I always liked for some Rome. Reason. Yeah, like, like I liked Greek stuff. Yeah, Roman stuff was pretty. But cool. I also will love just learning about the Aztecs and yeah, South America. Yeah, because I mean even Indians when we first got here and first mm-hmm. tried to settle down, but then well that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was another thing. I guess I left out on his thing. When it came to overall control, the bad thing is, is, um, and I can't remember how quick of a time period it was, but one of the guys that possibly, like some of the soldiers brought over influenza and smallpox. And I think they might have been some of the first Europeans to actually bring it to America. Yeah. So that probably ended up spreading north. Um, but basically, it, it literally killed like 90 per- 90% of the population. So, like, it dropped down, I think, like, the Aztec, like, as a whole, when it comes to basically that part of Mexico, probably had 30, I think it was 30 or 40 million people, dropped it down to three. Jeez. And it's just like, damn. It's crazy. So, it's, the thing is, is, like, if certain things didn't work out, it's like, who knows what, like, the rest of history would have been. Right. If, like, that didn't happen. Like, the Spanish conquest of the Aztecs was actually, like, pretty pretty crazy because then at that point eventually their territory spread up into north america and california and all those places history is just so cool it is and it's just to think about like not that many people have like explored canada like what it what what, is it like seven percent explored um because i know it's just i think I, i think it's more than you think but i think it's just it's so harsh that they're really yeah but really I mean, isn't a lot. What if there's something there? There could be. I, I think imagine the Amazon, a, I think the Amazon's a big one though. The Amazon, I'm so intrigued still. Yeah, like that. I think that that at this point is the big one because up that up at that point, it's like once you get into Canada, the conditions are so harsh that it's like, who knows? Like, but what if it wasn't? Well, first? yeah, at one point you but, never know. But the thing is, if you go back in time, then you get to the ice ages, and it was even worse. So, but well, before then, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that'd be. Forty thousand years ago, maybe? you never I know. Don't know. I don't know. What if it's just a colony there? Just a colony, just chill in the middle it's of now? Canada right now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess there could be. I mean, there's Inuits and there's natives. Dude, and... imagine <laughs> just big old like igloo fortress. <laughs> <laughs> just pull, pull a Avatar: the Last Airbender. They just dude, got imagine ice, <laughs> ice walls everywhere. That'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be cool. Why doesn't Canada build an ice wall? That'd be kind of cool. That would be. Cool. Yeah, they, they, but they, how would great, you? Be ice warm. wall of Canada. How would you keep warm? Ice is an insulator. Have you not seen like those ice hotels in Sweden? No. Yeah. Yeah. The what? It'd be like an entire building made out of ice. And That's it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. The ice uh, doesn't melt. Mm-mm. It's too cold there. But the thing is, is it's not as cold in there as you think. Like it's still cold, but it's an experience. Um, I'm not like with. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. I, Interesting. That's something I'd love to see at one point. That would I, be kind of cool. I remember reading about I, that years ago. I never knew about that. Yeah. Wow. You're like, I'm Googling that. After I'm we actually, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, like, it'll be like full rooms like made out of ice. It's huh. kind of wild. 
Well, then. I, I don't know how exactly they build it because that's still kind of. There's a lot of things we don't know how they <laughs> built. I don't, I don't know how they do how it. How do they build pyramids? <laughs> Still trying to figure that one out, right? Everybody is. Everybody's like, we still don't totally know. I guess it's sound. It's, it could be. You know, there's something. There's something. <sighs> it's crazy. It, 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 yeah. No, it, it is wild. Uh, what what else have we... What's happened recently? There's something else. Not really could, much. Nothing too crazy. Um, no. College girls are insane. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. I don't know... What, I just I mean your like, sister's fine. Yeah, my sister's cool, but uh, like it just depends. I don't know. Where they were or just raised. college students just kind of dumb. Like I, just, I think it just depends on where you are. It just depends <laughs> who you are. Yes, but yes, like, I would say our generation's lower <laughs> than normal. Yeah, lower with common sense and I and everything. I passed some middle schools the other day, and I, I was like, what? Like they were like, oh my gosh, you're so zesty. I was like, nah, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to get Bailey's friend Leah to come on at one point because she's a substitute teacher now. Oh god. Yeah. So she's she's already like told me and Bailey and stuff about like some of the things that the students say and do, and, and I'm just like, I middle schoolers now like i don't i don't think i could deal with it and like skibbity toilet and skibbity riz and all this and i'm like ah. i was like i feel like we were stupid in middle school but i i don't know if we did like that kind of dumb shit like i mean i know the I internet's mean, changed so much some, but it's still, it's still my wild. nieces are saying some out of pockets things you know? <laughs> i'm just like no you're like what, where's oh. this coming from why do you have tiktok delete it <laughs> it's just, it is what it is yeah i <laughs> I'm worried now. Imagine you have kids. First words is skibbity. <laughs> skibbity. <laughs> or, hey, I'm the Rizzler. God. I hope not. Like, okay, okay, it would be kind of funny if I have like a five year old son that says that. <laughs> Please, dude, as long as it's sarcastic. Dude, okay, this is totally random, but I keep seeing some Scooby Doo like videos. Okay. And this, like the Scooby Doo like movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's so many freaking uh, like <laughs> drug like related comments in that oh <laughs> and how high they were because they were they're were hippies like in, in, the, in the movies yes or, oh yeah like <laughs> like which are you talking about like the 2000s movies that yeah came out? yep was yeah. it oh, yeah oh yeah there okay there's that yes, yes, that yeah. camper one yeah and they made some they were cooking. And they were cooking. It, it but like they were, yeah, hot boxing. No, 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 it. but they said something too. Yeah. It was like meth related. And then there was another scene on the plane. And he was yeah. like, oh my gosh, those are, are those Scooby snacks? And he's like, yeah, I know they're like for dogs, but like, I just love them so much. <laughs> like, and you could tell they both were just high. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it's, it is, it is funny when you think about it. Cause it's like, yeah, it, I mean, that was, I didn't watch them. Like, like the, how many the movies idea. were there? Was there two? two. There's okay. two. And they did really get on it. Did you know that the girl that plays... Not Velma. Um, no, yeah, the... it is Velma. Sorry. The woman that plays Velma is... Uh, Hawkeye's wife in Marvel. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Huh. I didn't realize that at one point, and then my dad mm. said something. And I was like... Oh my How does Lord. your dad notice those little details? Well, he's he, he's I older, so he pick, picks right up now. on that kind of stuff. Where I'm like, as a kid, I would have been like, I need to watch those movies again now. <laughs> um, those movies were good. Like even that, or like, okay, did you watch Stuart Little as a kid? Yes. Okay, watch Beetlejuice for the first time like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Didn't realize the mom from Stuart Little was one of the main characters, and I was like, mm-hmm. wait, what? Yeah. The thing is, is what threw me off. I was like, one, she does look younger, but I was like, she still looks like so similar and i was like wait how old i was like how old was she when she did Stuart little and she was like in her mid 40s and i was like what Stuart little is actually a pretty good movie it's kind of fun i loved it i loved it when i was good yeah me too then they kind of like made it so bad did you ever watch an animated movie movie that they did yeah yep yeah that's kind of cheap. like nowadays have you seen it it doesn't look what? good what do you mean i saw like i think it was like a show or something i don't think did they make a show i think so yeah I don't, I don't know. know. I By the way, we we need to look into this and bring it up on next week's episode. Are 
what, when, when's the next Avatar coming out? Like the movie, let alone the TV show. Hopefully, it's when's TV show the next TV year. show? I think out? I think hopefully next year. I think <sighs> next year. I think next year. But but when it comes, I hope it gets better. I think it will. I think it will. I'll definitely will probably want to rewatch it before we get to oh, well. it. I need to still watch the original again. Oh yeah, yeah no, but no like are they? You really want the? Oh yeah, the Avenger, Avatar uh, movie. Okay. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Because it was initially supposed to come out. I think there was actually some bad this reviews. year. I think it's supposed to come out this year. I know there's a bunch of good movies coming out next but year, but I, I don't know because I, I knew I with, think like, the writer strike. No, I'm pretty strike. sure it's like January or February of next year. What the Avatar? The movie or the TV the show? Movie. So uh, originally there was supposed to be December of 2022, 2024, 2026, and then possibly 2028 if they made all of the movies. Okay. So the third one should be this December, but I knew that because of, like the writer strikes, everything got pushed back. But I don't know. I, I don't know how far, and if they were still able I'm to. I'm pretty sure make I saw production. a video, and he was going through like good movies. Then next year, pretty sure that was on it. So I guess update for like Avatar: The Last Airbender, the show. I did find out that they are going. They're changing it for the next seasons. It's not gonna. It's gonna be more practical stuff. What do you mean they're practical? not gonna use. So you know how for this one, they use like the giant computer like background screens, mm-hmm. kind of like they did for the Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. They so they did a very similar thing for. It looks good still. It did, but they realized that they spent a lot more time editing because I guess the coloring was thrown off so much from Fair enough. what they were trying to do. So that's part of the reason why things got delayed so much was it was a lot of post production work on editing and getting Fair everything enough, to yeah. look right. So they realized, okay, so for the next stuff, I guess they're going to be doing a lot more practical stuff. So we might actually get to see like a semi-built version of, like, Bossing Say when they go there. And I wonder when things. the, um... So that'd be cool. I wonder when the trailer's gonna come out. I don't know. I really don't know. I just... I'm ready for it. It's actually... The first... How many was there? How many episodes? Uh... Was it ten? I think there was ten. Okay. The, the first ten was pretty good. The, fir- the first one season. was not that great, but... Yeah, what? The first episode? Or yeah, the first, the first episode, I meant. But yeah, first, yeah, first episode seemed very, very rushed. Yeah. But they did fit a lot into that episode so i get it but it was a lot it was kind of like it did get way better like it was like as you got seven eight nine yeah dude those were so good oh yeah some of them got great like they they got i'm ready i'm ready i did i kind of want to watch the finale again just because it's so badass it was pretty cool it it was cool because i'm like this is what i wished like the movie was like when they released the movie years ago talk about shows yes when's tires think they're filming this fall i thought i saw okay. shane gillis talking about it Sweet. i think they've been writing already and i think they're supposed to do production this fall and then hopefully next like spring I again dude that was such a out of ordinary but funny Great show. show yeah <laughs> i do hope that this season is longer yes like it, I, 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 it was so, way too short was. but i can see why they were just like kind of just seeing how it goes yeah and at first, people didn't like it, but like I loved it. I, loved I was it, like, dude. it's ridiculous. Wait, I was like, well, it's... you showed me the first episode. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, it's like a weird. It's it kind of reminds me of The Office. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. Office E vibes. Yep, and I do like it. So I think with how I've heard like them do it, like they had a script, but then a lot of it too was like they would keep recording, and then they would just kind of allow people to riff and just do random shit, and. That's where they got like some of the really good shit too. And just the last episode when he just comes out with full oh. on hickeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was when he took his shirt off. He was just like, "What the hell?" In front of his, his dad. dad and his dad's fit, just so disappointed in his son in that instant. Like, what the hell is going on right now? It was so good, Dude, though. Shane Gillis played his character i loved it so so, i loved it so much because it's basically just him on roids like <laughs> like it's his personality just it's dialing. just literally him on a show yeah just like just it, 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 they just turned show. his personality up 
like Dude, to the extreme. Cool. That's all it is, and that's why I love it. I was just die laughing. Now I'm so just cool. playing scenes in my head. What would be so cool is if, like, in the next season, imagine they have like Theo Vaughn come in as like that a side character, hilarious. Or even if he's just like a customer, imagine <laughs> that would be, be so hilarious. Good. <laughs> he could pull it off, walk in with the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. That'd be that'd be perfect. Uh, did you end up seeing the Shane Gillis Bud Light commercial? Did I? I don't mm. think he did. That was kind of wild because it was him, the guy from Tires, and it was supposed to be like, oh, I, oh, I didn't see it, but I saw somebody post it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was so funny because people were like, finally, because, I mean, he had basically during like the whole Bud or Bud Light yeah. debacle, he was still drinking it and supporting it the whole time, and then he eventually they said fucking sponsored him, and like basically he was a part of like the Budweiser club. I don't know or Budweiser pair. Yeah, Bud Light Club and everything. And then people were like, we need we need Shane Gillis to do a damn commercial. And he did. And it was also the guy from Tires as well. What's his name? The other guy? I'm blanking on his name. He's, I know I've heard he's it. He's a good actor. He is funny. Like, the, the way he plays himself, it's just – I. <laughs> the thing is, is I think he's also kind of like that a lot in person too. Is he? I think so. He, I don't know. He kind of reminds me of, like, Pete Davidson in a way. Like, just, like – Random. Just, uh, just so like, – yeah. awkward but like <laughs> hilarious yes yeah and you just you don't know what to like think of or you're just like what okay cool <laughs> yeah. like you just gotta roll with it yeah i see what you're saying yeah no that i'm looking forward to that now too that would be fun we, we still need Imagine to if pete davison just shows up in there oh, God. <laughs> that, that's the funny thing is is like like anybody can shane has a lot of pull so mm-hmm. it'll be interesting to see like who he could possibly bring in and that's going with some people uh, I, we, we need more like shows like that we just need like ridiculous fun shit we do we do like, like uh, some nothing like huge baby reindeer just, like, we don't need anything like crazy and psychological right like, just like give something us something fun. something funny yeah, and like, just cause, small because i mean like we don't have that any, like we don't have stuff like friends anymore no we don't have even like, like big the bang theory office. office is gone yeah like, you don't have like just shows to just watch for pure like Enjoy. enjoyment yeah like i mean like you do like you'll enjoy good shows but it's, but just it's a, like drama it's, a, and it's like a different feeling yeah like i can just throw on any friends episode and just enjoy watching it and mm-hmm. have fun and and i don't feel like like now i feel like there's so many shows that you gotta like really be in tune with like you couldn't just yeah. like throw game of thrones on in the background and then expect to understand exactly. what's going on yeah like you have to pay attention but it's also the show that you want to pay attention to. And it's funny, but it's not, it's but not yeah, the same. Yeah, you can yeah. just let, I love shows like you just pop one random episode in and, and just like it. this is actually kinda of funny. Like, and did then, you ever watch Two Broke Girls? Nope. That was one show in the two twenty tens that was pretty good. That was kinda of like that. Mm-hmm. Just kind of a ridiculous comedy. Bailey really loved it. Um I'm trying to think what actors are in it. You probably recognize some of the cast. I don't I can't name them off the yeah. top of my head. But it's basically a story of a, a, a woman that lives in Brooklyn that's kind of broke and wild mm-hmm. and she's a waitress at this shitty ass diner and um, then this trust fund baby kind of falls into her lap and her dad went in jail for a Ponzi scheme and so she's going from being one of the wealthiest people in New York to having nothing and oh. so basically she like takes her under her wing and they become like roommates and then it's just like everything they deal with and it's just wild and insane like at one point um Damn it! You know who you know who it is. I'm blinking on his name though. All of a sudden, he did like a late night show, but it was like almost like a crazy parody. He has a crazy hair. Um, comedian. What other things have he has he been in? Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm blinking on his name. Crazy hair. Yeah, like big poofy hair. He was a guy that. Do you remember the clip where the dude is outside the White House and he's holding the gates and he's just yelling? Let me in. <laughs> you ever seen that? No, no, you've never seen that. Oh my lord. Okay, I gotta find that. But it's okay. it's so good. But no, it's him. He's in it uh, as like a side character. He's really funny. Um, like, yeah, there's just a bunch of random stuff. But it like that was like a good show where it's like there was plot, but you could also just watch it and like, be just, entertained. I I feel like just movies from like the two thousand, like movies and shows just from the two thousands just have a different like just different feeling. I think that's nostalgia. Maybe it is. But, like, 
But I know what you mean. Like, even, like, new like, Disney they even, movies aren't the same. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're good, but they're not the same. Exactly. I don't know what that is. Like, I... I'm glad it's not just me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, there's... There's certain things about like I feel like it's not Disney. just nostalgia. I feel like it's just it's just different. Well, even, it's literally just different. I feel like part of it is like it doesn't seem as impressive. It's almost like the same copy and paste style. Mm-hmm. Like even if you look at Disney animated movies over the past five years, the overall like art style is very similar. To, like the the face shapes and everything right. very common. Where like if you go back to like older animated things, like a lot of it was more hand drawn so there's more like angles it looked a lot different the color schemes were better like it wasn't yeah. as saturated yeah. and it added like almost more artistry to it i feel mm-hmm. like would be the best way to put it but like yeah. now i feel like it's almost turned into like the the fruit loops of the movie world yep. of like there you go let's get those bright colors let's like do those yeah. things to like grab kids attentions yeah like i feel like one of the last not the last one but a really good like more recent Disney movie that came out that like is like that, but I was talking to somebody about it last week. It's not a kids movie. It's Soul. Did you ever watch Soul? Soul. What's about? Okay, well we gotta watch it. Um, okay. it's about a jazz player that ends up dying and then too soon and is trying to come back to life and he's kind of like in an in between place and trying to understand like what he did wrong and chase his dreams and stuff. But the thing is, is when you actually watch it, I don't see there actually being even much. I don't even see there being much entertainment value when it comes to like children, which is kind of weird. Like, like it's not like most other Disney movies. Like, there's oh. not songs. There's not like even right. the plot. it's not a musical. Yeah, and even okay. the plot is like. What? The thing is, is it most of the entire plot and story would completely go over any kid's head, and then like an adult watches it and you're like, oh, this has like it's deep like it's a deep okay. movie and it gotcha. contemplates like morality and like who you yeah. are and, like all this stuff you like watch it and you're like wow like good movie but that that shit hit hard <laughs> and it, like the first time i watched it i was like damn <laughs> off topic but do you have to watch clouds clouds yeah what's clouds it's about uh this guy that had cancer and figured out he only had like a few months to live mm-hmm. so he made like a song Mm-hmm. Like with his best friend and everything, I'm trying to like not go into do much of detail, but okay. like that song like like starts getting huge and huge, and then it's once they start getting big, this guy starts falling off basically. But it's a sad song. But it's 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 a sad movie, but okay, it's a I good might movie. have to look into it then. Movie. Somebody it's a, it's based on a true story too. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to look yeah. into it. Somebody, by the way, I was talking to the other day, brought up Sky High, <laughs> and they're like, "Do you remember that?" And I was like, "Funny you asked." <laughs> I was Wait, like, "Who said this?" Literally, me and me and Riley just talked about it like two weeks ago, and it, like completely like, who was this? Uh, it's Joanne. Oh, and, okay. And it just completely like. I was like, when, I, when he showed me it, it fully brought me back to my childhood because, like, <laughs> it was literally like the most repressed memory. Yeah, forgot it was there. And then you like say it. I was like, why does that sound familiar? Why does this look familiar? And then you showed me the trailer. I was like, oh my! I remember I was like, that. I remember this so much. Like, I, I actually love that movie as a Dude, kid. I just haven't watched movie. it in so long. I need to watch it again. W- let's watch it. Let's watch. We gotta, it we gotta watch it. We gotta make a list. Blanket for it. <laughs> Blanket for it. Okay. <laughs> No, that's that's insane. But I, I there there is something about like today's movies. It just doesn't. Yeah, like, today's just, m- movies, TV shows, they just don't hit the same. No. Like you said, I I don't think it is all nostalgia because I feel like, I feel like if anything, old movies and shows had more story. You know what I mean? Like they had they had something and, to it. And like same thing with like the music industry. A little bit. Like, like there, there's more substance. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just. It, there, I feel like there's way too much, like kind of rush. Yeah, people just throw out content yeah. to not like create something yeah. real. When Which it comes maybe to the that. music is more nostalgia in a way. I think a little, but yeah. when it comes to certain songs, I I know what you mean. Like yeah. there's some, but I feel like sometimes that's like almost more of an like artist thing. Old and 
like old Eminem songs mm-hmm. to like the new album we put out. You could just tell. Yeah, yeah. That, I guess that's fair. <sighs> Ooh, Diddy. We haven't talked about Diddy. Oh boy. What do you think of all that? Uh, Want to get oiled up later? No. Okay. By the way, did you hear the story that I think somebody for PR was like, "Oh, he just like." He's like all good Americans. He really likes buying in bulk. No, no, no. Do and you like, know? He went like, to Costco. They made a documentary about him already. I think so. Yeah, I I, 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 I was on my my TV and I just saw that. On what? It was. Uh, when I, I forget. Uh, yeah, it was like, just like on the main screen, so okay. I didn't see what that's platform crazy. was on. Yeah, no, I, it's probably on Netflix. To be honest, it might be. Yeah, no. That whole story. It's gonna turn it's into so like crazy. the music industry version of Epstein. Like that's that's basically what it's gonna be, and now at this point, it's like all these accusations are coming out, all these stories are coming out, like everything's blowing up, yeah, from a lot of people, and like I've seen people clip back to like other artists, like Eminem's like old verses where he was like, yeah, by the way, uh, oh, there was one line, it's so good, but he spelled rapper, took out a p, think what that spells, and then. Was like, oh, did he just leave out a P, did he? And, yeah. And, and oh. just kind of, like, very subtly dissed him. And then, at the same time, was like, I don't want to be, like, Pac and Biggie or whatever. Like, wow. Yeah. So, basically, like, Eminem, even a long time ago, was like, yeah, I stayed away from that shit. Like, he, he knew something was up. Wow. And so, now, it's like, with all this accusations, it's like, okay, so how how likely is it that Diddy actually did have something to do with Tupac and Biggie? Or, like... How accurate were those Maybe, suspicions? I guess a lot of people. Times. Yeah. Which is insane. It's like just, that whole, whole, the whole side of things just it's crazy. flips so fast. <sighs> It'll be interesting to see what comes out about it. I do want to watch the new show on Netflix called Chimp Crazy. It's the same people that did Tiger King. Okay. But it's basically about people that have pet chimps. And it's kind of weird like some of these people apparently treat these chimps as if they're their kids like dress them up and uh, apparently uh, primates or chimps have a can easily get addicted to porn and television oh yeah um talking about chimps oh yeah (laughs) um planet of the apes okay did you watch all the old ones or all the um like the original not the original like the new saga ones yeah Okay, did you watch the newest one? I have one? not seen the newest one. Okay. You can talk to me about it, though. I don't care. I'm not going to go into too much detail because you do need to watch it. Yeah. It's it's oh, totally different. It's, like, based, like, 500 years. Yeah. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew so that part. So, you knew, like, it kind of sucks that you, like, never get the full-on backstory of, like, what happened to Caesar's son. Yeah. That, I guess. Nobody goes sense. into that, but... um. It's a good movie. You have to like first like few like twenty minutes. I would say it's really hard to watch. Okay, just because you're really hoping you find see something. something. Yeah, yeah, you're like, is there? But like that once you just like kind of wire your brain, just like okay, that's it's not, not happening. Happen. Yeah, but it's a good movie. I do want to see it. it it's interesting because like I remember I never watched like the original originals. I had seen some of them just because of my dad. Um, they're very cheesy and yeah, it, it's it. it it was a different time for movies, though. Well, the, pretty much this saga is a prequel to all that. Yeah, uh, which I like, and I feel like it makes more sense, and it can allow me to appreciate the old movies better. Oh, I I watched about I think I watched like the the three old ones. Yeah, like the three ones in order. But the thing is, they're all like totally different from each other. Like one literally just ends everything because mm-hmm. yeah that, that was some bomb thing. just yes. explodes yeah yeah the, and the then that, that one weird. i was just like so that one's really that one's just a separate movie by itself the overall storyline between it's some of those so are, are weird it, it's just it is hard to follow it's really hard to follow where i feel like i could almost see them eventually getting to the point where they end up doing a remake i but then again, but it's all, but it's like almost more of like a continuation of what they started with the new trilogies and like working their way up. I, and I would be, okay I can with see that. that. But since I got to like the new trilogy with new apes and everything, I feel like they're not even going to look back now. Well, like I'm, I'm saying since they're already kind of starting like a prequel storyline, I can okay. see them coming full circle to almost redoing the originals. But 
making it one they, consecutive story, which they kind of did. And they already, yeah, they're, they they're already did on there. Yeah. with a few like pinpoints because some humans, yeah, because they can't but, even speak. Exactly. So like so. that's the thing. If you've watched the originals, like there's certain things that just don't make sense. Like okay, so they're a time machine. They're still on Earth. Humans don't talk. Apes are the prime. Th- like and that's part of the plot is they're completely confused, don't mm-hmm. understand, and they never really totally understand. And then you start watching the, if you know anything about it and then you start watching the new trilogies as that came out you're like okay so planet of the apes well, let's see where this goes oh science experiments blah, blah blah virus kills most of humanity now you got super smart apes uh by the end of the third movie oh uh humans are de-evolving and can't communicate now cool interesting mm-hmm. that explains that part of like the old movies of like oh that's why humans can't talk anymore that's why they're seen as like mm-hmm. animals right and, and everything so then it kind of makes sense up to that point where it's like okay so years and years and millennia later th- it's how it that's how it becomes there because in the yeah. original like yeah they were supposed to be like space people ended up like traveling through time and then ended up on earth and they're like what the fuck is it going on like right. without any explanation right and then that kind of filled which, in that blank which, which was, is cool to see yeah yeah which was really weird though that they only remade the first one you know what i mean like the very first original movie they made they yeah. remade you they remade yeah. it with um what's his name um mark Wahlberg. yeah yeah that which, one was better but it's still weird I, I liked it better yeah. than the original one yeah of course but then again it was a different ending yeah exactly so it was kind of Similar but different, yeah. Which, I, I mean, every the, every remake is going to have its differences. Yeah, because I think there's one. I can't remember which one it is where the guy, like, travels back. And then he thinks he's back on Earth. And he is. And he's in front of the Lincoln Memorial. That's, but then it's an ape. Is that is that Mark Wahlberg's? Yeah, that it is. It is? That's the, yes. the, yeah, it, it, it is like, wait. <laughs> it's he's like, wait. yes, I'm home. What? And then, like, and then ape cops show up. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> what the f- what is happening? <laughs> and then that's the one thing I was like, I wish they just remade like all the other ones after that. But the, I think what they're doing now, though, they, they've done well. Like I, I enjoy the the movies they've made yeah. so far. Like, I mean, it's still one of the longest freaking. I mean, what's it called? Like franchise? M- franchises? Yeah. 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 No, it's it's pretty like, long. What, I'm trying to think of like other long franchise movies, but <sighs> nothing quite like. Nothing that spanned that much time. Exactly. I like. I mean, Harry Potter would be like Star the Wars. biggest one, or Star Wars. Star Wars would be yeah. like the biggest comparable. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but that's also something like our generation. I don't feel like ever really got that into. But Star I think Wars. It's not not like when the original came out. Like those kids fucking love Star Wars. Like my dad was a Star Wars fan. Like mm-hmm. sci-fi at kids. that point was like major, and Star Wars was well, one of the reasons. Think about like Nathan. He yeah. was into that crap. But I mean, I love Star Wars. The old I mean, Star Wars are literally my heart. Oh, yeah. I, I, so I love good. them. But then it's like you get our generation, and then they start coming out with like Phantom Menace and doing all that. They just weren't as good. They're not good. And, and then you have that. It's just a whole, And then I, the new stuff now, it's not bad. That's a, but the, it's see, just, that we're just yeah. going back to like old movies just mm-hmm. have a different feeling than new yeah. movies. Yeah. Because like the new Star Wars movies, I just don't like the. The one new movie that Disney made was Rogue One. Oh yeah. Did you watch that one? No, but I know Rogue One was yeah. pretty good. Like I don't think they're like bad. It just kind of got like too much. It kind of like Marvel. Like too much detail again. Yeah, kind of like Marvel yeah. a little bit. Because it, like that was the thing. Like, I think I feel Disney like the just old changed. Marvel movies up until basically like almost twenty twenty, they were all fine. Yeah. And, and, and then when they got into like making as many movies as they are now. Yeah. And then as many TV shows. Yeah, on once top I got that, into TV shows, dude, I I couldn't. It's just a lot to. It's too much. Like it I was like, it was, it was so easy to follow when it just came to movies. Like every two years is a movie. Yeah, or even one a year. Yeah, yeah. And it was enough to suffice, and you could follow the plot, the storyline, mm-hmm. everything's connected. It's a Marvel universe. It's easier to understand. And then now it's like, I the thing is, is like, okay, the, the next Avengers movie comes out. If I want to go see it. I haven't watched the past, like, new, probably three movies. Like, I think the newest Marvel yeah. movie I had seen, let's say, in theaters was probably Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That or... Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah. 
You haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3? I, well, I probably did. When did that come out? Am I dumb? A year, year ago, maybe? I'm pretty sure. Maybe longer? I don't know. Like, like that, or maybe like Thor would have been, like the when did Thor Love and Spider-Man Thunder. come out? I saw Spider-Man, and like I saw like Black Panther 2. But like I, I haven't yeah. watched any of like the new uh sorcerer dude. Um <laughs> What's the name? My brain. I'm not I already know who you talk about. I'm letting uh, you get this. Oh no. no. Doctor Strange. Yes. Okay. I did see that one. Like I guess I saw the new Ant Man. I did see that one. Um Ant yeah. The newest Ant Man. I just the, Yeah, like, and then you get all the much. movies that or all the other TV shows linked in and like Loki and all that stuff that's supposed to be like so big and part of the storylines. Yeah. It's like if I watch the next Avengers, I might be able to watch it and understand it well enough. But there'll be so much that yeah. I have missed that it'll honestly be hard to really enjoy. And so Evan, huge Marvel fan. Yes. Will probably watched everything. Even the shows. Yeah. He said he literally got to the same point I am right now. Like he's like, it's just bad. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, that's the point then. Yeah, I know it's it's kind of disheartening because Marvel and was so awesome. It, it it's still really awesome, but I feel like once Endgame like happened, it, just it, end it, died. it. It died out so it did because that's it. I feel like they should have just died it out right there. I mean, I they were never gonna do that. Like, I and I, I I'm fine with them continuing, but now I feel like they're trying to. You're just trying they're to. They're trying hard. to. Yeah, they're trying for something that was so organically happened over 12 years. Yeah. Built up so much. And they're trying to keep that ball rolling. Yeah. And it's just not. Not not like they want it's it just, to. Yeah. Like Ant Man and the Wasp. That one was pretty good. Or, Guardians or no, of the Galaxy is the. Guardians of the Galaxy those 3. Those were amazing good. movies. Like, but like when I watched 3, you didn't have to have extra backstory from anything exactly. else to watch it. Yeah. Like as long as you watch at least the Guardians of the Galaxies, and maybe like the Last Avengers, you're good. Like that was it. Where it's like, like probably to really understand like the new Doctor Strange movie, you needed to watch um, WandaVision and stuff mm-hmm. to like really understand yep. it. It, you did. It, it, it. And so it's like okay, like I never watched that show. Yeah, I so didn't either. It, it kind of is what it is there. All right. Well, before we end it, do you want to try this card game? So we did get a new card game. Do we shuffle these? Oh, we don't have to because the ones we did pull the other day just for fun, I put on the bottom. Okay. So we should just be good. Pull. We'll just do one each from each category. I don't see it. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter either way. So this is uh, called How Deep Will You Go? And I'd seen advertisements on Instagram for it. And it's kind of like Spark that we've used in the past. Yep. Um, it's basically just all about sparking a conversation and like making it in a depth conversation and really getting to know somebody probably deeper than you might. Yeah. than you might in just like a regular circumstance. So like there's three different levels. There's icebreakers. Uh, well, how does it go? Icebreakers. Well, confessions. Getting deep and then wild cards. Yeah. So I thought this would be fun for us to do. And then also, like, if we ever have guests, it's always fun to get into, like, deep conversations with people. Buddy, we did this clearly. Oh. Did we put them on top? I don't know, because I pulled yours, then mine. I don't think we did this one. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, we definitely did that one. I need another Oh, there goes one. <laughs> there goes one. Uh, okay. Are you good? Yeah. You ready to roll? Oh, my God. You want to start it? So basically with these, you answer the question, and then it kind of gets tossed to somebody else. So like, it's not like a game. It just – Yeah, I'm not it, asking you. Yeah, it just kind of builds a conversation I'm, between I'm people. I'm asking myself. And then me. It goes between both of us. What insecurities have you grown out of? And I'm probably going to say my voice, even though I'm still, it's still. Really? I still don't really like my voice, but I've gotten better with it. What well, What is it about your voice? I guess. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like my voice just, of course, it always sounds different in your head. Yes. But like, even when like, 
let's say I'm singing a song like, oh, I think I hit that note, but like, nope, I didn't. Yeah, singing is a whole different thing. My voice, I, I, I can relate to that just because like my voice changed so much in high school. Like if you remember my old Mine voice. Mine did too, dude. That's true. Yours did too. Dude, but, I, was, I had a really high voice. So did I. And so like I could, the funny thing is, is like I could hit some high notes yep. and I love to sing. And so that was a big thing. Like after afterwards was like, it was actually quite annoying in high school for like three years of literally trying to figure out my voice when it comes to singing. And that's yeah. Um, biggest insecurity I've gotten over. I wouldn't say I've completely gotten over it. Like it's still a challenge, but like compared to my younger self, I would say my like body image. I think would be like probably one of my biggest ones. Yeah, I would have said my voice or my hair. I guess. My, uh, mm, 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 don't that one. We're still working on. I'm not working. I'm not. Uh, I know, but I, I'm talking about me. Uh, don't. <laughs> that one. I don't know if I can get over. <laughs> Dude, I had a terrible comb over. Okay. <laughs> well, I just saying in general the, the whole my my genetics aren't looking great, but no, I feel like I've gotten over like my body image and security like I, yeah. I still want my body to be better but like at least it affecting like how i think it doesn't really happen as much like it still does like it's, it's still there but it doesn't control me right. i guess is right. the right way to go about it but then again it's just like i feel like if you think that mentally then yeah. you're always just like trying to perfect yourself yes and that's kind of how i was yeah growing up mm -hmm. i was like I always want to look good for this person or just my image, like but I, in the I, whole community. But I was just like, at some point, I you kind of just balance. don't yeah. give a crap. Like, I think there is a thing to it where like, if I'm going out, like I don't want to, you, you want to have a good image. Yes. There, there's definitely a thing where it's like, you can over process it. Mm -hmm. And like some people just don't care, but in a far negative way right. where they just let themselves go. So like, right. there's like a good balance in that one. Yeah. Um, what's did we talk about this? Ooh, what's the one big thing you want to change about yourself? We talked about that one. We did, didn't we? I thought we did, but I couldn't remember. Okay, skip that one. Uh, wait, that's level one. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, what? Oh, what fuck, we did that one. What? I pulled that from the middle. <laughs> how, how, how did we put this back in the box the Dude. other day? Okay, uh. What's a place you need to travel to before you die? Oh, that's a good question. That I need, I need to travel. Um, I mean, th hmm. there's a lot that I would like to say, but something like, I feel like one that's like, I've always wanted to see from a young age would be Machu Picchu. Yeah. That was like one place as a kid. And in general, I love, like, historical places. So, like, I could check off that box in so many different ways. And being like, true. I would love to go to Athens. I'd love to go to Rome. But as, like, a place that's just magnificent beauty, like, remote, the culture, just everything, I feel like Machu Picchu might be one I, of those places for me. Like, I remember when I first saw a picture of Machu Picchu, and I was like, this, how? Like, I, I want to. It's I, amazing. It's, it's astounding. I don't know where I would go. Really? Like, yeah. there's, there's uh, the thing is, is like for me, there's so many that I would yeah. want to, but I, like one place, what's like one place you've always thought of that you like, one of the earliest places you can remember that you would like, be like, uh, it'd be cool to go there. I want to travel there. I don't know because like when I was younger, kind of we did travel a lot, so I have to think out of states. I mean, I would love to go to Egypt. Yeah, that, Egypt that was up there just, for me. Yeah. You know, like see the pyramids. Pyramids yeah. and where Jesus was born. Yeah. That'd be that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, go go to the east. Okay, level two, confess. Okay. If you could bring someone back, who would it be and why them? Does it hmm. just mean anybody or like somebody in our life? Doesn't really just say someone, but I w I'm gonna go with someone in my life. Just that's kind of what I. That's, that's more personal. Yeah, that way. yeah. Um, hmm. let me think. Man, I got a, I got a few. The, 
the thing for me is, I guess I might be able to answer because I know you're thinking. Yeah, go for it. I I luckily haven't had an extreme amount of death in my family. Me either. So most of it's just like, I think I would probably say my great grandpa Jackson. I never met him and he passed away a year before I was born. And I've heard like a lot of stories and positive things about him. And the thing is, is he's not like most of the Jacksons, which is funny. And I'm kind of like that too. And even my dad from a young age was like, I, I really wish you got to meet him. I would say like one of my great grandmothers, like I already kind of had a relationship with them. So if I could bring somebody back. I was going to say my great grandma. Yeah. My great, great grandma, I guess my mom's great grandma. Yeah. Because I mean, I guess I just heard my mom's like from my mom's side. Like I heard that she was a great lady. Yeah. I never met her, but I just, I mean, I've had a grandpa and a grandma die, but then again, like we weren't like that. You weren't super close. It was my dad's side, so like yeah, like I, I would almost say my like, great grandmother, my great grandma Myers, but like I also had a, a relationship with her, where it's like it'd be it'd be amazing to see her again and, and spend time with her, but it'd also be cool to meet my great grandfather that I never got to. You're right. Are you happy? Explain. Yes, yes and no. I, yeah, like, I am. I think I never thought I would be where I am right now. Like, you, you always make, like, you always have, like, an image in your head of, like, how you think your life's going to go. It doesn't matter what it is or when. So, I, I guess, like, I've never, I never thought that I'd end up where I am now or go down the path I have or meet the people I have, but I'm glad that things have happened the way they have, you know? I was going to kind of just varies day by day. Like, I'm not saying I'm like mentally like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just just saying like, yeah. Like, and and that's the thing. Sometimes mentally I'm really happy. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm just like, well, but I I think that's everybody. Yeah. I I think it's just like, as a whole, are you happy? And I think for us, it is. Yes. As a whole, yes. It I'm is happy. hard, I think, for us to kind of answer, too, with us being so young. As I say, since we're still young, I mean. And you're even younger than me, so it yeah. makes it even more difficult for you to answer. Yeah. So like, I, life's still I mean, beginning. Um, if there was a bar of sad, happy, I'm like, this is middle. I'm like right here. Like, I'm not towards saying. Towards happy or sad? Towards like on the sad side, just because like I haven't experienced anything else on this side. Cause I feel like if I look into the future and what I think is happy, mm-hmm. having three kids in the, in the yard playing yes. some kind of sports or doing whatever, having a dog or something, just, yeah. you know, having a life. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I see that. I, yeah. I was more looking at it just as like a whole of like my life. Am, am I happy? Yeah. And I, I yeah. think, I think I am. I, yeah, like I, I love the people I've been able to surround myself oh, with. Thank like, you. no, like honestly, I I've never genuinely said this, but I'm honestly really glad you moved in. Like, it's, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and it's always been a dynamic that I've kind of wanted to experience for a long time is having a roommate, and so it, it's been a good time. Like, we've we've had some wild times. Yeah, I I love it. I've I've enjoying it, and just like the people I've surrounded myself with, the people I've met, like Josh, Brian, Freddie, yeah. like all, all those guys, like those are never people I ever like never would assume of like meeting or coming across, but being able to build connections with, with people like that is, is so precious. Yeah. All right. What's your getting deep? We're on level three. What is a dream you let go of, but it hurts. Hmm. Where do I start? Well, I'm not making the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you think? Dream I let go of when I reached six foot. I was like, well, I'm not getting entire. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. A dream? I, I, I'm just young. The, the th- I, I can honestly say, at least with that question for me, I don't think there's been any big dream. Like, I've never put too much emphasis on certain things. Where, like, 
I don't think I've ever had a dream that I, I, I wasn't able to accomplish or do that's hurt me. At least not yet. You know, like I think there's definitely potential um, mm-hmm. for certain things. Um, but there hasn't been anything like at this point that I'm like, yeah, it just isn't happening. Like, exactly. I, I don't know. Which I guess is a good thing. Yeah. But I've also tried not to ever put like too many eggs in one basket and be like crushed by something. Right. I just, yeah. I mean, I've always had dreams yeah. to like be the best of I as I can be. Yeah, of course. Make it to like the best thing I can. But, but yeah, I don't feel like I got anything too specific. Yeah. Like I feel like a big dream that'd be crushed is if I found out I was infertile. That would be rough. It, it w- repeat that. Like if I was infertile. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'd be. That would be. Yeah, but the thing is, is that that would that would hurt. That would, that would genuinely hurt me. But yeah. I feel like I could get past that because yeah. like it doesn't mean that I can't be a father. It doesn't mean I right. can't if, raise kids. It just if that ever happen if that ever happens to me, I'm like, or if, let's say I can't have kids, yeah. I'm definitely adopting. Oh yeah, of course. It, it's just, you know, it's just not the thing you put in your mind yeah. for so long. Like, oh, true. So, yeah. yeah. So like, because you're still, always thinking about having a kid. That's yes actually yours yeah and so if something like that that would be rough but it, it would be something i could get through yeah um describe your worst heartbreak wait did we do this one what did it teach yeah you? we did which one is it level three yeah when did you cry the hardest oh gosh what <sighs> um oh man Huh. When did I cry the hardest? <laughs> this is a hard question for guys. <laughs> well, um, hmm. huh. I don't know. I I know times I've cried. Yeah. But I think what do you mean the hardest? Like like one of the worst I guess <sighs> emotional situations. I don't know. I feel like for me honestly might have been the situation with Noah one time. And it was just because I I finally had let out some emotions and things off my chest that I'd kept to myself for a long time and I just broke down and we were on the phone and I just it, it yeah. hit hard and that's a good thing you got that off your chest though it it, it, it did it, sadly it didn't mend things like I was hoping it would um but I, th- I think that might be that time it, 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 I mean the last time like I had a good cry would have been like bad would, would have been like uh maybe in April and I think part of it was just stress and work stuff and a bunch of other things compiled but I also think on that one it was also a lack of sleep that threw a lot into it and, yeah. and I think that was the day I came home and I literally slept for like 13 hours like I was just mentally and yeah physically but mentally just and trained. emotionally it just yeah. like I just broke down and and I just was like I, I, I can't I can't handle this right now I just need to right and honestly, and the thing is, is like the next day, I honestly felt like completely different, and I think I was able to like, letting that out, I think, kind of allowed some of those emotions to subside, and then also just listening to my body, and then just sleeping, and just kind of mentally right. recovering and sleep. Right. It, it helped a lot. And the next day, I felt a lot better because I mean, I am you. You know me pretty well. Like I'm not a very emotional person. I'm yeah. Not me either when, when it comes to sadness or yeah. anger or or anything it sometimes i feel like it might be a face that i put on just a little but yeah not in like a negative way like i, I don't try to cover up my hurt or feelings for the most part but i, I feel like i'm just naturally an optimist so i kind of put that to the side and i just try to move forward and not be tied but, down to a lot some sometimes you see i mean i don't even remember the last time i cried Really? Yeah. Was it from a breakup? I mean, yes. But, like, then again, I feel like I've cried since then. 
mean, I think it's been. Because like I think there's probably I, a I year think, by then. I think at this point though, it's like saying, like I mean, obviously like, we've all had a little cry here and there, but yes. like something where like it, it was I, it was just pure emotion. Yeah, my, I guess my last breakup, but but uh, I feel like that's, then again we kind of ended on good terms, so I didn't really cry that bad. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, it's still it's still hurt. Yeah, but that yeah. Makes sense. Huh. Um, oh yeah, it probably. For, oh yeah, I, I just saw. Honestly, kind of forgot about that. Fuck, it was. It was probably. It's between Noah actually and um, that girl situation last fall. That that yeah. that messed me up pretty bad. I, um, did. I tried to give you some space. No, it, yeah. no, you you did, but it. Then again, I wasn't even living here yet. No, you weren't. Yeah. It was just. There, there wasn't really anything anybody could do or say. Right. It was just like. I felt betrayed, even though it was somebody I didn't like know that well. Right. It, it hurt. Course, even even more you, than I wanted it. If you trust somebody, you would think, yeah, they would like at least give you something trustworthy. Yeah, and, and I am uh, a, a naturally a very trusting person. I still am, and I, like that's the thing I told somebody one time. I was like, I'm probably overly trusting, but I feel like I much rather be too trusting than isolate myself you just and I feel like balance it yeah and i feel like with certain things like if you deal with like let's say childhood trauma from certain things th- those are kind of the two pathways you go down you're mm-hmm. either going to be super trustworthy or you're kind of just going to be like i'm not i'm not putting myself out there because i don't want to get hurt again right and i feel like i kind of went down that path so like it, it the bad thing is in that situation it hurt me more than i ever wanted to admit to anybody um for a while and that drive home was fucking hard but um i mean hey like we, we, we move on yep it happens what's your wild card sir okay we have to reveal a secret about ourselves i want what, what, what do you mean a secret apparently what, what secrets do i have <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we tell each other we, they... we, we pretty much do i don't in general like i don't feel like i'm an overly secretive person I don't remember a secret I've kept. Um, hmm. I'm usually very upfront and blunt with people. So, like, there might be things I, if I say something to somebody, I might dial down how intense. Maybe something might actually be. But right. I, I'm still pretty upfront. I don't know if I really have any big secrets. I, I, gen- I genuinely don't think I do. I mean, um,. <laughs> I'm in debt. They're like, <laughs> I guess that's that's kind of a secret. The, I yeah, I, I got I got credit card debt. Days. That what? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, I got credit card debt. Most people probably don't know that. I guess yeah. That, oh really? Be, yeah. You know that? Shut up. <laughs> uh, Actually, no, I didn't. I thought you. Oh, yeah. got it covered with your dad. No, not totally. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, got, I, got I don't card. really go with your financial side. I was like, hey, you do you, you I do me. Oh yeah. That's- no, I get it. So um, I don't really have a secret. So, if you had okay, if you had one, ask the question. Wait, oh, if you have one, ask the question that is on your mind. Question that is on my mind. Um. Now we're thinking of questions. <laughs> yeah, that's not on my mind. So no, we don't have a question on our mind. I guess not, because I'm sitting here. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> let me let me think about this for a second i don't know um why are you like... so dang cute oh thank you okay, i don't know <laughs> uh it got awkward i don't know I was, I was gonna ask like something along the lines of like you and hope what about us i don't know just like where where, where do you see you going in the future Hopefully down the road. I mean, our six months is coming up. So. I know. I'm happy for you guys. Thank it's you. It's awesome. Thank you. I, I do actually really like this. I think this would be really fun with certain guests. Like, I think this, this would be something actually, that Brian like the, would really I like these appreciate. cards more than, um, which one was uh, it? Spark cards. Well, the not blue the ones. spark cards. I don't know. I like some of the spark cards. But um, there was one deck. I didn't really like them. I think it was the relationship one. Yeah. I don't really the, like that one. Yeah, that one's like kind of. 
It's good, mad. but it, you gotta be doing it with the right people. You kind of made a mess. A little bit. I'll clean it up. Yeah. I, I like that. I think we definitely need to like bring that back with certain guests. Yeah. Maybe even as openers or right at the end, and just yeah. be like, let's let's just get into. Some I mean, deep it's actually really cool because like there's some really good questions in here. There are. That they do have a relationship version too. No, oh, which cool. is really cool. Um, but all right, I think that'll probably call it for this week. Well. Well, Sweet. everybody, thank you so much for listening. I, I did enjoy this. It was both fun, exhilarating, and then at the same time deep, which is normally how it goes at one point. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, we're going to keep posting shorts. We do need to probably keep playing Halo <laughs> so we can, get, we can stream that. We need to, just, just we need to us, finish Halo 2. Just Halo 2. And then yeah, yeah. Halo two, then. good sailing from there. It should it, on, it, honestly. Halo it Two is just a. It's a lot. It really is. Just, We're so close. We actually don't should. die. The honestly, do you want to do a stream Friday? Do you have anything? Not to my knowledge. I'm off Saturday, so. Honestly, let's let's stream. We the thing is, is we could possibly finish it. We could. I'm done. I, actually, I think we got two missions. I was thinking about Halo a little bit today. <laughs> we got two missions, and then it's like after that, it genuinely should be reasonably smooth sailing especially if you add another person or two yeah maybe mason would get on oh mason 100 percent would but mason sounds like he's um we do need to get mason on here sometime that'd be cool yeah just don't tell him those cameras at him you hey, can't see them exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay so for context well we'll go ahead and say i have a friend from high school i absolutely love this man he um he is legally blind and deaf but still will kick our ass at COD. Yes, the dude his limitations uh, set him back in some ways, but in others don't matter. I don't it, I don't it's I mean, actually he was actually doing crazy. so good in volleyball too. Volleyball, beer pong. Like what the like there's I, I, I love the guy and I I don't know how his brain works. Yeah. He's, I, he's, I would love to get into his brain just to see how it works. Yeah. Honestly. All right, I'll ask him. <laughs> He's so <laughs> fascinating. But, no, we should get him on at one point. But, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with friends and family. Just be sure to pray for the yes in Florida. Yeah, Florida and North Carolina, parts yeah. of Tennessee. Pray for everybody from the hurricane victims yep. and just for the election. Just have everything coming yep. up. There's a lot going on in the states right now. So Make sure you register. Register to vote. Yeah. All right. Well, we will see you guys all next week. All right. Peace out, everybody.